Hello, cool. welcome back dear all. Today we are going to discuss about the uh, urban sprawl and how to make a urban sprawl map using a Google Earth engine. So the first we are going to define what is the urban sprawl and what is temporal urban sprawl. So the basic definition of the urban sprawl is the the spreading of urban development such as a houses, shopping centers on undeveloped land near a city is basically called the urban sprawl so how do we make urban sprawl map and how do we justify it uh, we are going to use google earth engine so this is the code so here you need to first uh, import some uh, basic things first i am going to uh, import select any region you can also import your shape file. I'm just uh, here input the polygon. This is the polygon. Uh, then the second step is that I'm going to importing the land set 5 imagery level 2 collection 2. And the next one is I'm importing the land set 8 imagery. Then I'm going to import uh, land set uh, 9 imagery that is one of the latest. I'm uh, give the name as a variable L5, L8, L9, 7, 8, and 4. I'm also importing the land set for imagery here. All the all collection of the land set. Uh, so we just need to import all these imagery. If you want to import any data set, you just have to type here the name of the data set. That suppose I'm going, I want to import the land set data set. You just have to write land set here. And you can see is that the all data set are appear here seven nine six and so on you can easily click on it uh, just click on import button then data set is imported here okay the next step is that uh, we are going to list year list to map okay so this code is written in a google Earth engine javascript api and is used for analyzing the urban expansion over a series of years using the landset imagery let's break down the code understanding its functionality variables in the functions number one is the uh, year list this is the year list uh, variable year list uh, is 1999 1995 2000 2005 2010 and 2015 and 2022 this is array contain the errors for uh, which the analysis will be the performed okay the next one is the uh, filtering function uh, this one is a second here javascript is using the function filter and call roi date and so on this function filter and gives the image collection based on a date range uh, and a region of a uh, interest okay the third one is the composition uh, this is the function and this one is the composition okay the cloud masking this is the cloud masking here two functions cloud mask tm and cloud mask oil are defined for cloud masking in the landset images and uh, the composition function uh, composition function the two function landset 4 5 7 and the landset 8 are defined to create a composite images for landset 4 5 and 7 for year before 2014 and land set 8 and 9 for year from 2014 onward respectively generate image per pre year function okay this one is the generate image pre air function so here this function is generate a collection of the images for each year using land set data apply and cloud masking and calculate indexes such as um, ndbi and n mndwi uh, it also adds these layer to the google earth's engine map so the next one is image generation and the visualization so we're going to talk about image generation and visualization the code then goes through the year in an year list decide which landscape collection is used on the base of the year generator composition of image calculate the indexes and visualize the result on the map urban expansion the visualization uh, the section create the image and representing the multi class value of each pixel on the value of, on the base of the years the result are visualized on a map as an urban expansion legends and visualization 
uh, basically it is uh, just uh, legends a legend is uh, created on a map and showing the color coded classes for each urban expansion area chart uh, now we're going to discuss about the area chart so area chart this section is generate and print a area chart showing a change in an urban expansion over a specific year now i'm going to give a summary about this code uh, the summary of this code is perform a comprehensive analysis of an urban expansion over a series of year and using a landsat imagery it involves a filtering dot masking and indexes calculation visualization and the charting to provide a detailed understanding of growth urban growth over a time so i'm here also mentioned the command to create a table to show the change then these are the creating a legend then creating an expansion image then creating a directory for each expansion visualization image for calculation then build this is this one is a build up modify the normal water index these are the bands uh, that are using for uh, the calculation of these indexes uh, and modify normalize difference water index and this is the normalized build up index these are the short wave infrared and a near wave infrared then the green short wave infrared bands are using here and these are the uh, short wave infrared band 5 band 6 band 4 band 3 and a band 2 is a blue green red short wave infrared and near wave infrared and these are the shows the images map legends are added band 5 uh, 6 and 2 uh, plus land set and ears are here and these are all the conditional on land set collection to use generating ears so i hope you are clearly understand the code now i'm just uh, click on the save button then you have to click on the run button as uh, my polygon is in the region i think so in uh, gajramala so you can see uh, okay i'm going to expand this section and these are the all layers uh, that are make by this map the first one is a landsat image then ndbi ndwi build up 1990 1999 uh, so 1995 then uh, 2000 clear then 2005 and uh, so on till to 2020 uh, data is available these are the urban expansion uh, representing the different colors this uh, purple is represent 1999 1990 and blue is this one then this one and red is representing uh, the data of uh, 2020 so where our polygon is here we just click go here and zoom it then turn off geometry okay it takes a little bit of time in uh, loading okay uh if you want to click here it is a simple map and this is the uh, satellite and the labeled satellite map i'm choosing the region uh, of gujarawala gujarat here it is a representation of uh, urban expansion that take place in 1999 these uh, these are all urban expansion take place in 1999 and then in 95 it is representing in this color and uh, the this color is representing 2000 urban expansion here and then 2005 is here and here a little bit here and it is also included in this region that is uh, almost Gujramala, Sialkot, Samrial, Tuska, all the region are covered here then yellow is representing mostly here urban expansion in 2010 and then 2015 is here then 2020 uh, we are going to zoom here in a Samrial region you can clearly see that the urban expansion of the 2020 here okay the layer is uh, loading and take a little bit time these are all, uh, red is representing the urban expansion and the region of uh, samrial and so on now i'm going to check up the different there's this is the uh, build up index uh, of our study area in our build up index is representing here uh, you can see is that this is the kujramala deska Samrial, Wazirabad, and uh, so on. Then we are going to check the modify normalized difference vegetation index. This is the normalized difference vegetation index there. And uh, this is NDWI layer. It is basically normalized difference build up index layer. 
uh, that are representing here and this is the simple Lancet uh, 2020 they are uh, representing the pan colors band combination color and in the same way you can uh, click here and then click on uh, this one and uh, 1990 layer and you can see is the difference between both of them okay this is the clearly so the urban expansion uh, now I'm going to compare the build-up okay this is the build-up and you can see is the expansion clearly here here you can see here are the clear expansion shows that so in this way you can make your urban expansion map by using a google earth engine thank you so much all of them